Cushing's Bookshelf, Episode 2, Writing Down the Bones, Freeing the Writer Within, by Natalie Goldberg. And uh, welcome to our second episode of this new YouTube series that I'm doing, um, Cushing's Bookshelf. And uh, like I mentioned last week, what I want to do for this first series of videos is to talk a little bit about writing advice books um, because we don't really talk about them as a genre of nonfiction quite so much. Um, and they're important. They're very influential often in terms of um, what happens with um, the way different generations of writers pursue their craft. So going to the bookshelf, I want to take down Writing Down the Bones by Natalie Goldberg. This is uh, the actual copy that I uh, had in college. Um, actually has some sentimental value attached to it. Um, I took one creative writing course um, in an academic setting um, in my life, and that was in my senior year of college. And uh, I decided to treat myself in my senior year because I had room to take an elective. And I took uh, a creative writing class and this was the book that we used in the creative writing class uh, to read through and to kind of stimulate our our writing. Uh, and to, you know, it really set a certain foundation for my writing, I can say. Um, and I read most of it, or at least what I was supposed to read for class, or at least enough of what I was supposed to read for class to be able to fake it, right? Um, there in my senior year, but, uh, I started rereading it today just to kind of get back into the, the gist of, uh, of everything. I knew how to kind of give a general commentary on the book, but I wanted to um, refresh my memory. And gosh, I mean, it still has uh, a powerful effect on my thinking. And I have, it's been years since I've actually looked at it, uh, you know, and um, gosh, I just want to reread it the whole thing now. Um, a little bit about the approach that this book has. Um, the writer of this book, she's obviously a writing teacher. She's a poet. Um, and uh, at least during the time that she um, created this book, uh, she was a student of Zen Buddhism. And so a lot of her approach to writing is about uh, getting the junk out of our head about the expectations of what the completed writing project is gonna look like. And just writing for the sake of writing, um, you know, kind of almost stream of consciousness or, or just, uh, just putting down the images that are in your head, the, um, the, the emotions, the feelings, whatever. Um, come up during a, uh, a timed writing practice, which she um, she calls it a writing practice in the same way that Zen Buddhism has a uh, meditation practice. So um, it's pretty powerful. Uh, and it's interesting for me because I can look at my, um, my writing life and just see how much it, um, affected my take on horror. Now, obviously, uh, Natalie Goldberg is not a horror writer. Um, and uh, a lot of the folks who are um, who are taken with this approach to writing are more literary, you know, writers, more just general literary fiction writers. But, um, you know, but, but I think it has something to say to uh, people of whatever genre. I'm um, just going to share one of my uh, favorite passages here um, where, uh, gosh, there's so many, but she talks about the kinds of things that a writer does during this kind of spontaneous writing process, um, you know, this uh, writing practice. And um, some of her tips, are, it, there's a little chapter here called uh, First Thoughts. And, uh, you know, and she, she recommends writing in a notebook. Of course, this is a little bit dated going back to the eighties, um, is when the book was originally published and I went to school in the nineties and everything. So this was before, 
um, laptops and whatnot. But, but I think it still applies. Um, keep your hand moving. Don't cross out. Uh, don't worry about spelling, punctuation, and grammar during this whole phase of just kind of free writing. Um, lose control. Don't think, don't get logical. And my favorite is number six. Go for the jugular. If something comes up in your writing that is scary or naked, dive right into it. It probably has lots of energy. That's probably been the most uh, influential thing about this book on my writing um, is the idea that if something comes up, an image comes up, um, an event, a character comes up that is uh, disturbing uh, to not flinch away from depicting that image or that character or that emotion, but to uh, be okay with exploring it. And uh, certainly through revision that, uh, you know, that scary energy, uh, that, you know, kind of naked sort of fierce energy gets shaped into something um, that fits into the machinery of a story. But at the same time, it should, I think, hold on to its essence. Um, it should continue to carry that energy. Otherwise, um, I've shot myself in the foot. Anyway, so that's our episode for this week. Uh, I look forward to posting episodes every Tuesday. Um, and um, that's how we're doing now. So until next week, read on. I know I'll be.